Hey guys, what's happening? Chris here. The production of a game takes a lot of work, not only from designers and programmers, but also from producers as well. It amazes me every time when I see the game arriving in a player's hands, because during production everything seems broken and it doesn't seem like it's going to be ready in time. After lots of hours and hard work, it magically comes together the day we ship the game. That's why in today's video I'm going to talk about the production cycle in the AAA industry from my experience. As the game production begins, the process usually starts in the phase of pre-production. During this phase, the company explores new ideas that might become the next game. Pre-production is very important because it is the phase in which a lot of people at the studio get creative freedom to create whatever they want. During this phase, game designers usually use their time to create prototypes in-game or using paper prototypes. These prototypes will later be tested during research sessions. Personally, it is my favorite stage of development because you just get to be creative and you can see the potential of the ideas that you're working on. I recommend doing a lot of research during this phase as it can help you come up with new ideas. If you're interested to try new things that might work for your game, you can expand into other areas like books, movies, or even board games. This will help you a lot in coming with new and interesting ideas that have a potential to be great games. During this phase, it's also really important to be quick at prototyping, because as I have said before, a lot of the ideas that you're going to prototype are not going to make it in the actual production. So it is better to work on as many prototypes as you can and iterate faster so you don't lose a lot of work. Another great thing about this phase is that you can have your coworkers playtest your prototypes. That way, you can get their feedback so you can see what they think and how to make it better. The second phase is production, and I'm not going to lie, it is my least favorite part. This part is where everyone is hard at work on the current game features. By the time you get to this phase, game designers are going to be hard at work writing game design documents and iterating on features to make them better. For game designers, there is a lot of iteration during this phase, as features get tested often. So you have to keep improving the features in order to make the game better. As you move through production, it is very important that you have really good communication with your team, especially programmers, artists, and producers. They are going to be crucial for your success and your work. Having good communication with them allows you to save a lot of time, work more efficiently, and most importantly, it allows for your team to avoid working on things that aren't needed. Another important thing in this phase is to always maintain the game in a shippable state. This means that you need to try not to create any unnecessary bugs that might break the game, as that might prevent other people from testing the game and that might get you into big trouble. I was once involved in a situation like this, and it could have cost us a lot of trouble, time and money. So make sure to always check your work before submitting to the server, in order to avoid any unnecessary bugs. Another thing to mention is that during the production phase, there are a lot of deadlines that you as a team need to meet. This can be for E3, conference demos, game reveals, trailers, or any other game event. These are the times where a lot of the crunch happens and it can be brutal to your body. So make sure to rest, take your breaks, and also eat very healthy if you can. The last phase is post-production and this is where all the magic happens. It feels like you have a puzzle or a Lego of a million pieces that don't really fit together. As you keep working, suddenly one day you wake up and it's whole and everything is amazing. No, it's not really like that. There's a lot of work that needs to happen before that. A lot of people really go above and beyond to make things possible and make the game shippable. That is why it's so difficult to ship a game. During this time, game designers aren't going to be able to check in anything in the game. This time is mostly used to fix any bugs that might come your way. In theory, this doesn't sound so bad, but then a wave of bugs can come at any moment and then you're miserable and you're going to want to jump from a small bridge. This phase can get very busy as well because it's very unpredictable. You never know how many bugs you're going to get in a given day and this can cause a lot of anxiety, especially for people like me who always want to see their bugs list at zero. Once the game launches, it's not all good and done. There's still a little bit of time in which developers wait to see if there are any major bugs or things that are preventing the player from progressing in the game. This is the stage in which we all hold our breath and hope that the game doesn't break. 
Because if something bad happens, like a major bug that blocks progression, that can affect how the game is received. This period is short and is usually for a month after the game has shipped, at least in my experience. Once the game ships and developers and producers are sure that the game doesn't have any major bugs, then the game studio as a whole takes a break. This break can vary from studio to studio, and there might be even studios that don't really allow breaks. But those who do give their employees some time off to compensate for crunch. After the break ends, the developers get together again and then the process starts all over again. The studio will be working on a completely new game or if it's a live service game, updating the current game. As you can see, the phases of game development can be very different and it is crucial for you as a game designer to know these phases in order to learn the skills necessary to succeed in the game industry. Production cycles can be tough on you. If you don't take care of yourself, it can be very damaging. Make sure to sleep well, eat healthy, and take your breaks whenever you need them, as it will allow you to contribute more to the team, and thus making a better game that everyone is proud of. And that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching. What is your favorite part of game production? Please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. See you next time!